What's up everybody, Mesolite Visual, you must hear about PBR materials, right? What can this material do for us? What kind of result and quality can we get using PBR materials in our projects? Sing no worry, in this video, I'm going to explain and demonstrate the use of PBR materials and get the best result out of these textures. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start, let me kindly ask you to subscribe, like and share this video to help us create more tutorials. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, check the files of this video on our Patreon. Also, if you want resources and architecture tools to improve your workflow, make sure to check our website. The link is also in the description. For this tutorial or demonstration, I'm going to use the project that I've worked on before go to our patreon to download all the files for this project we are going to start our texturing on the driveway pavement or ramp make sure you get the clear view of the surface you are working on to appreciate your material texturing settings well click on the surface to open up the material window in this case i'm going to use pbr materials like i said pbr stands for physical based rendering and that means the material describes the visual properties of a surface in a physical probable way. This will give us a result that are possible under all lighting conditions. So in this material window of the driveway surface, I will load components of my PBR material for the paving of this driveway. PBR materials comes with at least more than three components, the color map, normal map, and the displacement map to add the height or depth to our surfaces. Once we loaded all the textures or maps, let's look at the physical properties of this surface. I'll start with the colorization first. This one I'll set up to zero, just to keep the original color of my surface. So the next parameter is the closeness. I will use slide or key in the value to fine tune the sharpness and blurriness of the reflections of my surface. So 1.0 is the neutral starting point. Another parameter is the reflectivity. I will slide to adjust the amount and the intensity of the reflections. I will set it above 1.0. Let's move on to the relief parameter. Tweak the relief slide to adjust the roughness of the surface a bit. And then another important um, that, uh, parameter is the displacement. This one I will set the displacement parameter to adjust the height or depth of the surface particles. Let's set this to 0.33. This will make my flat surface to be a three-dimensional. Another critical parameter in this property window is the weathering. This slider parameter will add aging and weathering effects to our surfaces. Things like dead, worn-out edges to um, create realistic um, surfaces. No material is perfect, so imperfection in texturing is a good practice. Can we look at another material? Let's look at wood as a different material. In this case, let's do wood for the garage door. I will apply Lumion wood material as a base of my PBR materials. Then later load wood PBR texture on top of this material. It takes time to load because these are our 4K high definition images. So yeah, you must be patient in loading this. From here, I will adjust the physical properties for this wood to achieve great results. Let's start with the closeness. I will set it to 1.3. The reflectivity, I will make it 1.1. And then the relief to add um, roughness to the surfaces, I will set it to 1.2. Also do the displacement. And this time around, I will do 0 0.5 because it's a wood material. 
then adjust the weathering parameter to 0.2. I'll also adjust the edges a bit to round all edges and corners. Great, this is a good starting point. Let's apply metal finish to the door frame, right? In this case, I will use lumen aluminum finish. Then change the colorization to something like black. And apply aluminum preset and the weathering properties. Then adjust weathering to 0 0.1. And I also have a little bit of uh, round edges. I can adjust reflections and glossiness a bit to make this look great. This is good. You can go ahead and apply materials to all surfaces using the same process, but be keen to check on the physical properties of each material because they are different in the way they respond to lighting and other weather conditions. Materials like stone are a great example of why we should use PBR materials. If you are impressed or amazed by these materials like I am, what can be the next project of yours be like? How are you going to utilize this texturing technology to produce great renders and set yourself apart from your competition? Go down the comment section. I'll be waiting for you any comments to respond. Thank you for tuning to this video. If you want to keep up with the standards and improve your project delivery, right from the design, visualization and documentation, Check out our website for ultimate templates, presets, ebooks, and tons of resources you can utilize. We also have a Patreon monthly subscription for those who want to learn and use our project files and documents. We upload every week and any new uploads you will be notified to access the content once you are a member. Thank you once again. Bye.